Hello, I'm Rancho Palos Verde City Manager R. Moranian with an update from the June 18th City Council meeting. The RPV City Council continues to navigate the ongoing state of emergency in the Portuguese Bend landslide complex. The Council has temporarily banned bicycles, motorcycles, and other two-wheeled vehicles on Palos Verdes Drive South in the landslide area due to safety concerns from the accelerated movement. Bicyclists and motorcyclists will be prohibited from using the two-mile stretch between Wayfarers Chapel and Schooner Drive to prevent injuries due to poor road conditions where the land is moving 5 to 8 inches per week. Riders will be directed to detour routes until road conditions improve. The closure sunsets in 180 days and will be re-evaluated by the City Council. Meanwhile, the City Council reviewed the annual PFAL Census Report and suspended the City's Humane PFAL Trapping Program for the year. In 2015, the City implemented a PFAL Management Plan to manage the peacock and peahen population. This spring, 165 birds were counted in six RPV neighborhoods. The next census will take place between March and April of 2025. After months of meetings and workshops, the Council adopted the fiscal year 2024 to 2025 budget for all city funds, the five-year capital improvement program, and improvement authorities. The city's general operating budget for the year is $39.4 million. The City Council also approved an annual five-year contract with the Los Angeles Sheriff's Department for law enforcement services provided to the city. The Sheriff's contract for 2024 to 25 has increased nearly 4% to more than $8.1 million. RPV, Rolling Hills, and Rolling Hills Estates share the Sheriff's contract with Rancho Palos Verdes absorbing the largest portion of costs. Congratulations to many volunteers appointed by the City Council to serve on the City's various committees and planning commission. There were 36 applicants for 20 vacancies on the City's advisory boards and planning commission. The Council also selected chairs for each of the boards and the planning commission. For more details on all the issues before the Council, watch the meeting on RPV TV or on the City's website at rpvca.gov. But stay connected and remember, we are RPV together.